Hey everybody, this is Tony from Tony's How To's and Reviews. If you find this video useful, please hit that thumbs up button. Give it a like. Subscribe and hit that bell notification if you want to be notified when I release some more videos. I'm working hard, y'all. Trying to get these videos out to you as soon as possible. So please, show some love, show some support. I don't get a lot of comments, so hey... I don't know what you want to see. I don't know what you want me to review. I don't know what you want me to uh, test out if you don't tell me. So please leave a comment. Let me know what's going on. Give me your opinions, your thoughts. I can use it all. Thank you. Have a good day. Peace. Okay, to clean up the mess I made out front, I'm currently doing a few reviews in once and or at once. Um, I'm also going to review, I got two 5 amp hour 40 volt batteries, um, we're going to throw those in there, um, both sides, and we're going to review this uh, 40 volt backpack blower, um, 145 miles an hour, uh, 625 CFMs, it has a hanger back here, uh, you can hang it on a um, hook or something you have in a garage. And uh, it's real easy to put on. Uh, I'm not going to give you guys all the specs and everything. When it comes down to is does it work well or does it not. But as time goes on and I get better with these reviews and I got a big enough audience and I can do this full time. I give you just what you need. So as you can see it's already on me. Um, pull this strap down right here. I don't know if you guys can see that. Pull this strap down right here. And then you can pull this uh, tight across your chest. Um, it's real comfortable. Um, on my back, it's not super heavy. Uh, let's see how well it works. Hold it. Um, you can lock it right there. Unlock right here. You can move it move the handle that is I find it better if it works with uh, it only does two minute bursts but I hold it right here and then hit the uh, boost button big difference you can see how well it's blowing these clippings towards the front now I'm doing this right here so I can give you guys a view on how well that edger works So we're towards the front of the house now. It already got all that. But you can see it's blowing everything out of the way really well. It's not really windy outside right now. So I don't have anything working against me. It's real calm. It's real dry. Uh, concrete's dry. And everything's coming up really well. There goes a piece of concrete right there or sandstone. There goes my line. I'm going to blow the line too. Right here the, that the edger left. So you guys can get a nice view of that. And as you could hear, that was two minutes right there, and now it went back down. And it's a significant drop in power, which I don't like. If you want me, you know, I shouldn't have to keep hitting that button every two minutes. If you, if I want full power for, for the whole time, give me full power for the whole time. 
see like like i'm not fighting an urge right now to just hit that button again see it's it's way better just don't put it on a timer i understand that it might save a little bit of battery but it's also going to save me a whole bunch of time what if it was windy outside and i'm fighting against you know outside winds i don't want to keep pressing that button i know it's something i mean it's right there and it's easy to press but i don't understand why they would put a timer on it You know, if I wanted to reduce the timer, I could also, or the power, make you, maybe make uh, this a power. Like, uh, reduce the power rather than a lock, and then find out a lock, so that way I can adjust my power the whole time. See right here, the edge, I missed that. Um, not the edge, but the seam, rather. There goes another piece I missed. Okay, let me blow this over this way and then down, get it all in a pile. It's not that loud. So I don't know if you guys could hear it significantly or if I have to yell. I'm speaking kind of loud. But uh, it's not that loud, honestly. It's much, much quieter than a gasoline one would be for, for sure. Look how was. Uh, see what the uh, edger. If you have sandstone, that's another thing right there. If you have sandstone, that edger right there that I was uh, that I was reviewing in my last video. If you have any cracks like that, it'll 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 do damage to your sandstone if you're not careful. But sandstone's real brittle and breaks easy anyway. But it looks good. That's all just from the edger. See, see how brittle sandstone is? There's a corner piece right there. It'll crack on you. But it also washes up really, really easy, really well with the uh, power washer. Looks good.
right, let me take some pictures for you guys. And I'm gonna wrap it up with this backpack blower and give you my thoughts on it. Um, I can't really show you too much. I'm not gonna pile up leaves because it's not that season, season. But if you guys are interested in that, I will. I actually use it as a leaf blower. But you can see right here, it has a really good uh, amount of power. It's light, it's quiet, and it works well. So let's see that little area that I did, my front lawn basically. Um, just getting up those clippings. Let's see how much unbuckle on the front of the chest. Pull this side up the strap. Pull this side up with the strap. I can bring it up right there. And let's see how much juice we got. All right, so those, that little bit right there, I'm left with two bars and two bars. That's a good amount of power uh, for this whole area. So if you have small areas like a, you know, I live in Cleveland, a small area, a city home is perfect. Not too much space, but when you get into some acreage, you're definitely, you better have a lot of batteries.